hey guys, this is Chris Ambley here, and I'm bringing you a Moab on Gulch. It is the DLC that has just released today, the 5th of September. I got this Moab about half eight at night. I've been I've been trying for the last I don't know couple of hours to try and get one. It's just not been working with the amount of like bad players that are on this playlist at the moment. They just seem to think that a corner is the best place in the map when. They probably don't even know part, like most of the map, but yeah, not all the players are like that. Obviously, but there is a lot, and it's just them people that seem to do me in. It's been really annoying, really annoying. So anyway, I'll give you a couple of tips from playing this map. Uh, I've, I've I've only played this map about three or four times so far, and I. I'd recommend sticking out around the outsides of the maps and um, like around. Personally, I, I think the best flags to keep hold are, I think it's B and A, and just like keeping the spawn trap at C. It's definitely the best way of playing it. But I was playing solo in this lobby, and I can't control what my teammates are doing, so. Yeah, fortunately though, that was how it ended up, and we did have B and A for the majority of the game. I know I'm saying that now, but you're watching it and we've got C and B, but yeah. Uh, uh, um, the guns I was using, well the gun I was using this game was the ACR with extended mags and the silencer down the 30s. With Xenia Mags and Sansa, the starting perks were Blind Eye, Hardline and Stalker Pro. Uh, the, f the kill streak unlocked from the specialist was Assassin, Slight of Hand and Scavenger. That set up for the specialist, personally I think it's the best one because well, you get your Assassin straight away and well, you're unseen to everyone, then you get your Slight of Hand which I think is needed pretty much because I play it pretty fast paced I don't like playing it too slow then you get the scavenger for me after 5 kills or 5 points I think it is I'm usually pretty down on ammo so I think that's the best way of playing it and um, yeah and please if you if you are watching this and you are playing the new maps and you like to sit in corners just just stick again. It it's not it's not a good way of playing it. It it I, I can imagine it being really boring. And uh yeah. It it doesn't it doesn't make you a better player whatsoever. Mm, no, it doesn't at all. So yeah. The I'm I'm going to go for a mode on the other maps as well. But I, I'm not. I doubt I'll get them tonight. I, I, I probably won't upload them tonight either, even if I do get them. But yeah, is it, in the next couple of days I'm going to upload an example. There was a gameplay I got uh, earlier as well, and uh, it was a it was a high kill, low death game. But all the deaths were just well, to me they were just complete bullshit. And uh, yeah. Another thing as well, if you can, please in your comment suggesting what I should do with my commentaries because I'm clueless on it. I'm not as, I'm not very good at it at all. So yeah, I've I've noticed listening back to my own commentaries that I seem to say um like uh uh like you know like quite a lot, and I need to change that. So that's one thing for myself. If you are watching it, please commentate and like. Well, not comment, commentate. No comment on what you think I should do for it. Uh, like a suggestion, and I've just said it uh, again. So yeah, and I think that. Well, no, nah, it doesn't even matter. But yeah, C flag anyway is is definitely the best place to be hanging around on this map. So the maps anyway. The, the 
the three new maps, Boardwalk, Gulch, and what's the other one? Parish. I've played Boardwalk probably the most. That one seems to be the, that one seems to be the most popular map. Parish is quite a small map. Like I'd say it's about it's about the same size as a bit smaller than Mission, maybe. No, yeah, but it's a bit smaller than Mission. It's quite a linear map, and well, to me, it's quite a linear map. It just seems that way, and uh, Boardwalk. It reminds me of Boardwalk. It seems a lot like Carnival from. It's like a mix of Carnival and oh, I don't know what's this? Like a seaside map, a decommission kind of. It's a bit yeah, decommission and Carnival. It's a bit like so a mix of them two. It's it's a decent map. I like it myself. I've got a few de decent gameplays on that. Uh, the only gameplay I've actually got on this map is this one. I haven't got any on. Parish yet? I won't. No, I haven't got any on Parish yet. Uh, and yeah, uh, this map it uh, it, it kind of reminds me of what's that map called on Modern Warfare? See the big one, like uh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember. I might I might put it in just in the description if I remember it. it like the, the big one that he said was o uh, bigger than Overgrown. It's not a big map, but it's just like the uh, cliffy side of it. It reminds me of Far, like, well, as me said before, it it reminds me of uh, like Far Cry 2, just like all the rocks and shit. So yeah, I think I'm gonna cut off this commentary here. And please subscribe, comment, and rate if you think it's good like it if you don't obviously don't like it or dislike it whichever I don't know so I will I will see you next time Securing Alpha. A secure. We are triumphant.